It looks like the Chicago Bears will keep that number nine pick in this upcoming draft class and not trade it back for more picks, at least with that pick. So let's talk about this, people. What is going on, y'all? Fast Sports all back at it with another video talking. Of course, I'm going to here to talk about the Chicago Bears and here to talk about the Chicago Bears potentially keeping that number nine overall pick and not trading it. Again, I'm only specifically talking about the number nine pick. They could certainly trade other picks. But just that number nine pick, I have to, you know, come to the conclusion now that I do think they will end up keeping it. And the reason why is from comments made by uh, both head coach Matt Eberflus and general manager Ryan Pulse. Matt Eberflus was asked uh, in a couple of these owner meetings, uh, press conferences, that uh, what the Bears are going to do with that number nine overall pick. And he, and he said the following. He said, we're going to get a blue player for sure blue meaning blue chip player um and he very well could have been you know discreet about it and said hey we don't know yet what we're gonna do we could trade it we could keep it but he said we're gonna get a blue player there for sure and then he said they're gonna focus on players at that spot that will either help the quarterback or affect the quarterback now <laughs> that could be a lot of positions obviously help the quarterback wide receiver offensive line affect the quarterback edge rusher so um that did kind of narrow it down a little bit like, we're not taking a, a corner we're, we're not taking a special teams player but we kind of know what the needs are and then ryan poles also um in a couple of these owner meetings press conferences interviews basically said that he is not worried about accumulating more picks knowing that he's only going in with four draft picks because he has had a lot of draft picks over the past three years. And when you average it out, it's been like eight draft picks per draft class on average. And he knows that they have a boatload of picks next year. So he's not too worried about just four picks this year. So all of those things, hearing that from Eberflus and with polls, leads me to believe that we're staying at nine. We could certainly trade up, as in trade back, I should say, with the later picks that we have but with nine i think we are keeping number nine and i agree with that because i think number nine is a sweet spot that is understated because what you can get at number nine could be something that slips through the cracks heck i just saw a mock draft with marvin harrison jr slipping to number nine i think mike tannenbaum uh, put out that mock draft but you know it, it, it is what it is like like there's scenarios out there that some crazy thing could happen because you could talk you, you could talk yourself a story where you got Caleb Williams going you got Jaden Daniels going Drake May and even JJ McCarthy now that's four that's four quarterbacks right and uh, and that's even before you get to the fifth spot and then you got Joel right uh then you got the three receivers uh not to mention you got the edge rusher so you, there is a world in which one of these elite talents slips to nine and so i don't want to trade back and miss out on that i don't want to miss out on a roma dunes a malik neighbors a jared verse a dallas turner or even a joe alt or a marvin harrison jr though i think they'll be gone but i don't want to miss out on those guys so i just think there's too much potential out there at the number nine spot so i agree with if this is what you know poles and Eberflus are trying to tell us i agree with them let's keep the number nine pick get another blue chip player, and then let's go ahead and see what we can do with the later rounds. And you got picks in 2025 that you can go ahead and trade those, and you can go ahead and get back into this draft. So to me, one and nine, stay at those spots, trade down, trade back with the other draft picks that you have. So let me know what you guys think, man. Could you imagine you walk out of this draft with Caleb, with uh, Roma Dunze, with Caleb, with an edge rusher, or Marvin Harrison slipped like that's something crazy. You know? Like I'm just saying. So that, that would be incredible. Let's go ahead and keep that number nine overall pick. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below as always.